Hello, this is Hawker Devin, and today we are going to level 479 of the back rooms. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival difficulty is a class 5. I think that's the most dangerous there is. Unsafe, unsecure, and has an entity infestation. Description. Level 479 is the destination given to an inscrutable location that presumably exists outside, either outside of the typical boundaries of the back rooms or within a portion of them inaccessible by normal means. Purpose for all entrance into level 479 has yielded no positive results. All entrances thus far have regrettably been accidental. Weird that this is in the normal level less than seven eight mag levels, but whatever. Due to a slew of complications regarding memory and communication, see below, precisely to us of level 479, and encounters are oftentimes filled in by the mind and are as such unreliable due to their incongruency. Accounts from survivors of level 479 agree that in terms of its most basic of descriptions. Level 479 is rusty, dirty, dark, and human. Structurally, the building is described as resembling either a prison or a hospital. All accounts emphasize the state of disrepair and dilapidation, as well as the lack of adequate light sources, which make it hard to move about during the duration of the experience. Level 479 encounters graciously last only one or two hours, most likely due to the level's instability. Reliable accounts of the level are as elusive as they, they are due to two factors, the rarity and the state wanderers are left in following the experience. In terms of rarity, it is thankfully estimated that only 18 wanderers on average find themselves in level 479 annually. More cases may exist and go unknown, however, due to the lower level 479's second property. Survivors tend to exit the level with some error of terrible form of brain damage, mainly of the temporal lobe, which makes communication of the experience difficult or impossible. Damage is often exasperated within the first five days and can be either mild or extreme. In some cases, a vegetative or near vegetative state is achieved a week following exposure. The brain damage can leave one vulnerable when they return, which may result in some never living to tell the tale. Survivors never seem to be harmed physically otherwise. Most victims of level 479 at some point or another encounter what is referred to as level 479-1, entities of entity, uh, referred to as entity 479-1. Entities of entity 479-1 and one are, vague, are described vaguely and never in more detail other than their brown slash black color and their white structure. Little is known about the entity themselves, their motivations, or their role in the after effects caused by level 479. <sighs> now, a dubious link between severity of the symptoms and amount of entity 479-1 encounters has been successful. Hmm. Up until 2027, no photographic evidence of Entity 4791 existed until a wanderer who remains unnamed was found wandering in the back rooms. The wanderer was taken into care and gave their account of the level, presenting the image as proof. The wanderer's condition worsened in the following week, and her death followed not long after. For investigation into the nature of Entity 4791 instances is required. Though it's difficult to achieve with the current understanding of, of level 479, and the poor memory is of its survivors. The following symptoms have been observed in survivors of level 479 following one week since exposure in the study of yeah, 52 non interests to level 479. The list is ordered from highest to lowest occurrence rounds to two significant figures.
impaired or sensory processing has occurred 96% of the time. Reduced linguistic capabilities has occurred 94% of the time. Inability to focus has occurred 90% of the time. Impaired or short and long-term memory has occurred 89% of the time. Brain, brain shrinkage has occurred 81% of the time. Difficulty with rate memorization has occurred 77% of the time. Emotional instability has occurred 71% of the time. Visual agnosia has occurred 67% of the time. Prosopagnosia has occurred 60% of the time. Epilepsy has occurred for 44% of the time. Semantic dementia has occurred 33% of the time. And a comatose or vegetative state has been found 12% of the time they go in level 479. Survivors of level 479 struggle to adapt the, to the changes that the level's effects bring with them. A long-term care center for level 74, 479 and victims is an established in level 11 to have survivors adapt and guide them towards being able to live a relatively normal life following encounters. Currently, 30 patients are permanently housed in the center alongside five occupational therapists and medical professionals. professionals. Sorry. And this is apparently the only known, ent known image of Entity 4791, which also serves as proof of the Entity's physicality. Entrances. Entrances occur randomly. Purpose is of uh, entrance has yet to occur. There's no warning as to when entrances happen, and there's currently no known variable that increases or decreases chance of entrance. The only thing that one can do is pray that they do not become a victim themselves. Exits. After an unspecified time period, survivors are randomly teleported back to the level they left, but less frequently to another, different location. Should one find the lost wanderer or that exhibits any of the described symptoms of a level 479 encounter, they are encouraged to bring them to a care center in level 11. Medical professionals and med archivists will conduct assessments afterwards. And the, un and the uncommon instance is where the wanderers display hostility and or violence on or are urged to exert caution if there is to bring them in to a, to a safe location. If the situation is deemed too dangerous, however, wanderers are encouraged to di disengage for the sake of self-preservation. And that was level 479, a level that I think is more enigmatic than normal and it is only able to be entered by accident, and apparently exited by accident. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!